So, what's your plan? What? Your plan? Now that you don't have to go to school for a while, I assume you have something in mind? No, not really. What? <sighs> I still need to find an armorer as well as a technician because one thing's for certain, we need to leave this planet Pray tell why? Because here, I can't truly fight. I can't actually, you know, show off much of my training, let alone get more experience fighting to the death. Yes. Hmm. Well, lucky for you, every freighter, ship, starfighter does come with an instruction manual. And luckily, also for you, there does so happen to be a simulation pod. What? Oh, yes. You see, these freighters can handle a lot of weight, tons of it. So there's a just for emergencies. Of course, there would be someone to have to take the reins of it, so I can learn how to fly this thing. Yes. What about you know? Fixing it up, maintaining it, all part of the hands-on training that you need to go through. Oh. Wait, how come I didn't learn any of this before? Well, you were trained to be a warrior first, not a technician. Or pilot. What else is on this freighter? Hmm. It should at least be a starfighter or two. What? Are are you serious? Have you not noticed how massive this one ship is? Uh, I guess. Of course you haven't. I mean, you've only been through a certain amount of areas to begin with, so... <laughs> Why would I just suspect that you'd want to explore your new dwelling? Yeah... Don't worry. At the very least, you can still learn. First things first, find the simulation pod, learn what you can about piloting. You can worry about armor later. If anything, the hyperdrive should still be fully operational. It did not sustain any damage from what I could possibly gather. Hmm. Fuel may be an issue though. What? Oh yes, this this vessel does require a fuel source. Luckily, there are you know backup fuel cells or whatnot. What? Really? Why, of course, you'll be forced to not have some sort of reserve fuel. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, very good. Anything else? Well, of course there are other weapons. Armor. I, I can't wear the armor. It's female armor. <sighs> you truly haven't been exploring. 
just because Bogotans used to own this freighter does not mean she only armor with her requirements were built or stored here. Do not forget a freighter is meant to haul cargo and all the like. It's just that this has been fitted for more comfort, combat, more Mandalorian base needs. Huh. Okay. So, hmm. what can I use that antenna that's poking at? Oh, you can use that possibly to watch the sports festival that you can't be a part of. What? Oh, yes. Huh. Can I get any other channels? Yes. You also send distress signals and long range communications. It really depends on how strong the signal you. Hmm. Actually, if we can get to the nearest. What? What? In your solar system, there isn't much of a. There isn't uh, much life, except for this planet. But outside your solar system, it's teeming with life from other planets, other solar systems. Those of which I don't even think that have been discovered. Really? You could use that for trading. But first, you have to make sure that this is, uh, you know, ready for travel. <sighs> this is going to take a while, isn't it? How much time do you have? Don't worry, don't worry. It's just a joke. As yes, this is pretty much how Izuku is spending his suspension up until it is the sports festival. He's learned enough on the grounds of okay, so I can do the, this is the hyperdrive. Wait. What's that? Oh, that's just a Jensen escape pods. Very useful. Indeed. And this is about the time when the sports vessel does begin to, hmm, for lack of a better word, pop off. Only thing is, Izuku's not there, so Bago, though he does give a little speech is not very enthusiastic it's more along the lines of oh, the one person I want to fight to beat is not here uh. so because of the whole race Shoto wins but Bongo being second place but when it goes to the cavalry battle, then the fights themselves. Izuku, though upset that he can't participate, he is obviously interested in one known as Mei Hatsume. Though, yeah, she was mainly in the background because Shiro didn't want to be bothered with her. Bakugo sure as hell didn't. He was able to keep a close enough eye out. So, he's like, I found my armor. Are you sure she can be trusted? Mm. Eh. That's the worst that could happen. She blows the lid off all this whole thing. 
you being able to go to other planets, solar systems, possibly galaxies. Huh. Actually, that might work out in my favor. What? I mean, at the end of the day, I can't stop someone from sharing certain information, but if I learn enough from her, or well, at the very least, we able to reverse engineer this, you wouldn't dare. What? Are you suggesting that just in case things do go sideways, you would... <laughs> you would allow everyone to possibly get... Do you know what that would mean for your planet? Huh. Interstellar travel. Access to God knows how many untapped resources, planets that could be colonized, taken over, or at least back up. <laughs> You're thinking about conquest. Oh. I guess you're right. Well, it seems as though you're more Mandalorian than I really thought. And that's saying a lot. I had a good teacher. Well, I can tell. She is very eager to build new things. Hmm. There may be an issue. Like what? The hyperdrive. We may not have the resources to make them here. So finding a viable... You know. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you do have a point. Hmm. But, at the end of the day, you're not wrong. I know. But I still have to think about the whole, how should I tell her about this new world I'm pretty much allowing her to join. Just flash some technology in her face. I'm pretty sure she'll get with the program. You're erasing that certain, don't you? Of course. If anything, it just means that you are getting closer to being a true leader. What? Wait, no, 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 no. That is not my plan. Perhaps. But... The first plan never truly works out. You know that, don't you? You might not want to be... the leader of the Mandalorians now. But your opinion might change. Give me enough time. Hmm. Whatever. But seriously, first things first, I need to. Uh, I need to talk to her first. Yeah, easy enough. Really? Of course. All you have to do is walk up to her and tell her to... Mm. 
Actually, maybe not. It could be something problematic about doing that. What do you mean? You may need to ease her into it. Really? Yes. They go like this. You show her something that's too powerful. Something that, yes, will get her attention, but also destroy this planet if given to the wrong people. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, you you make a very good point about that. So, what? What should I show her? Hmm. Go to the cargo bay. Check and see what's there that could pique her interest also won't make it so she just wants to go breaking into it or at least make sure it's not thing too hazardous. As you go, you can imagine he has a, a lot of trouble actually finding something that would be considered safe considering who owned this freighter before. Yeah, let's just say, uh, Bokotan was, for lack of a better word, preparing for just in case shit hit the fan. Well, the thing is, Izuku, he's pretty much at his wit's end. He has no real, you could say, grasp of everything he really has at his disposal. Yeah, he could give her one of the star fighters she ended up coming across. Easy. The only thing is these things are not one to just show off. Even though she does seem very eager at least from a sports facility point of view, Izuku doesn't want her truly to end up building something dangerous or <laughs> uh, making people think he, what he's doing is highly illegal, therefore being a threat. It's bad enough that the heroes of UA, well, especially all my of all people, already seen him as dangerous but at the whole world hell if it, even if Japan sees him as possible villain material or a, a real nuclear type weapon threat it could be very very problematic for his future endeavors hell forget Dooley Bo-Katan he won't even be able to leave Earth. He might not even be able to leave a prison cell if he proves that he's a big enough threat. Especially if All Might is considered him to be kind of suspicious. But, he's a good. He has no choice but to actually show me the droid he used. To at least train. Though she is a bit interested, it's also like, huh, neat, so we can shoot lasers. That's nice. So, wait, what do you want me here for? Do you have a. I need a technician and an armorer. What? Think of it as you making support gear, like those boots, the jetpack. Oh, you're interested in my babies? What? 
Wait, what, what are you, wait, 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 what, what do you mean by babies? You, you have kids? No, my inventions. You, you call your inventions babies? Seriously? Yeah, doesn't have one? I don't think so, no. Eh, whatever. So, you showed me this because you want me to build armor or at least support gear for you and possibly be a technician but I mean yeah your little drone laser shooting thing is cool but I'm pretty sure you can get anyone to make one or at least make you armor if you ask them hmm yeah, but I want someone more ravenous, hungry for, you know, creating new things, fixing up what's broken just to make it better. Okay. You have my attention. So, what are you trying to fix up? Can I trust you? Time will tell. But right now I'm choosing to trust you, so... <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Follow me. Uh, what? Oh, you didn't think I just had the drone, do you? Don't you? Uh, you have more. So, so much more. In fact, I think you're gonna like it. Is it showing me the freighter? She's like, what is this? This is what I'm gonna end up using to travel to other galaxies, solar systems, planets. What? Wait, 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 no, 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 that's... That's not possible with the technology we have, I know. But with the technology I have, all I need is a capable technician and... Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I was curious, but my attention is... I am very intrigued right now. Thank you. So, you want to show me inside? Of course. But first things first. I can't keep this a secret. At least for now. What do you mean? Well, you see this thing. Given enough time, I do plan on going public with it. Really? Oh, yes. And it's safe to say that this could be very useful given enough you know, time to prepare for the possible ramifications the influx of new technology such as this could pose. So you really think, you really think you can buy my loyalty with the promise of new technology going to different planets to find new resources to use and make babies and as well as a job as an armor and technician to keep this thing floating and space worthy? Yes. Well you can. You guess right. As yes, Izuku has <laughs> found himself an armor slash technician. The only thing is, May is way too eager, more eager than he thought. She started tearing apart starfighters. When it comes to sleeping, 
She's more than happy just to sleep on the ground, causing Izuku to have to, honestly, God, carry her to a room that she, though uses on occasion, doesn't really care much about. Let's be honest. May will not go sleep until, well, she's forced to go to sleep. Either by her body breaking down, tell her, go get yourself to sleep, or someone literally making it so she has no choice. And boy, when it came to the simulation part, she nearly lost her damn mind. The only real problem is, she wants to implement more functions. Say, what are you trying, what do you, 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 you want to do? Think of it! Imagine, this, what do you call it? Simulation part. So, yes, simulation part. This thing could, you know, put you in whatever battle scenario you want. Hell, it can get you prepared to pilot pretty much any, you know, ship. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I like that look in your eyes. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just a little excited to see how it's going to turn out. There's so many things to do, so many possibilities. How are you in mind that I'm missing the internship? We have power loader. What? Yeah. If anything, though I wasn't able to really shine that much, all things considered, I did get an offer from power loader, so. Oh. Well, I'm. I'm. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but. Please. Ugh. <sighs> As much as I would love to be, you know, under the wing of such a great hero, it's, I can tell, you have some very unique ambitions. I mean, with this technology, you could just, I don't know, start taking over planets. What? No, for real. Think about it. What are the odds that these other planets that you might re visit even have half the technological know-how that we already have here? I mean, you must have thought of that. They could be living in the Stone Age or, or the Bronze, or the early Industrial Age. You have no idea how much knowledge they really have when it comes to technology, let alone the brain capacity, the type of worlds and environments they live on. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Some might not even be bipedal, let alone sapien. Hmm. Yeah. On that, you are very much correct. So you have all this. A little. Yes, I have. Oh, I like you. Uh, what? Yeah, I like you very much. Let's make some wonderful babies together. <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yes, just imagine the type of creations me and you can make together. Oh, that's... <clears throat> that's what you meant. Of course. Hey, what did you think I meant? Nothing. Just... Um... Yeah, it's, it's great to work, be working with you as well. <laughs> uh, Zuko just leaves the awkward situation. 
smooth. Very, very smooth. No, why don't you just propose already? Shut up. Doesn't matter. I just need to. I just need more training. Yes. Yes, you do. But sadly, I don't know much about, you know, romance, so you're at a loss. I don't need that kind of training. Oh, on the contrary, yes, you do. If anything, this woman seems like to be a very good match for you. Though you are very awkward in your interactions. Uh, I, I'm not that bad, am I? <sighs> Don't worry. It's natural for those your age. That's why I would assume. Yeah. But if anything, we need to make sure she can defend herself at the very least. What? Oh, yes. I mean, she has to learn how to fight. I... Huh, I, I guess you do have a point. So... Mm, uh, do I just give her a lightsaber or... <coughs> what? No, 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 no. She's not a Jedi or a Sith. She's not even a Force sensitive. Why did you give her such a weapon? Huh? Yeah, if anything, she could be an honorary Mandalorian. Uh, wait, wait, really? Yes. I mean, they're called foundlings and whatnot, and give, being uh, the fact that we have allowed others to join us, so to speak. Yeah. I have heard rumors of this one. Hmm. What was his name? I think it was Django or something fit. Yeah. They end up using his DNA for clones. What? Cloning's a thing? Yes. Ugh. Nasty business. I mean, could you imagine if they had enough clones? It would be literally, technically, at least, a one man army. Imagine training them so proficiently in one thing, then another batch of clones, you train them something different to the point where they're. It's scary once you really think about it. Yeah, but they have free wills, don't they? Yes. However, they fixed that. What do you mean? Well, I guess your master was never really going to tell you about it, but each clone is given an inhibitor chip. Really? Oh, yes. Which, there are some commands that would cause them to not act rationally or to be very obedient. Huh. You don't say. Oh, yes. Very, uh, very interesting. Uh, clones? Uh, wait. How? Is he gonna turn around and see Maze? 
What are you talking about clones? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Wait, and who were you talking to? Her saying he's good holding the dark sabers. Were you talking to that? Wait, what is it? Like, uh, <sighs> you know what? Forget it. You're gonna. Uh, you're gonna learn about it any other way, so might as well let you know. But he does tell her about the dark saber, lightsaber, Jedi, Mandalorian, all the things that has happened. Hell, even showing her holocrons as well as data entries, as well as historical. As you mean, very historical documents that have been recorded, as well as specific accounts. That were confidential. Izuku was surprised when he first went through them, but May learning about. Whoa! Sounds like the Jedi were really cut their pants down, huh? And the Mandalorians seem like they really sh shot themselves in the foot, so to speak. Yeah. Hmm. So you want to train me how to be a Mandalorian? Yeah, I. Um. Well. Huh. Sounds interesting. But when I just need a, to overpower you with technology, technically. Well. Uh, hmm. Cause what I can tell, these lightsabers or dark sabers, or whatever. Yeah, you can defend blaster fire, but the Mandalorians using flamethrowers instead. You can't really block that. I mean, you could force push it, I guess. But even then, hmm, that's a good point. And you gotta think about jetpacks. Mandalorian seemed to really have the whole killing Jedi thing down. On one hand, I can actually see that why they were seen as such a problematic sport. But also for the whole huh, subjugating or completely destroying entire races or you know. I don't think any Mandalorians were such nice people. And you, the way you talk about going to different planets or galaxies, it seems as though you... What? It seems like you're slowly adopting some of those ideals. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's ridiculous. Is it? Cause it seems like I might be right on the money. Uh, I, uh, I never really. So you really haven't noticed much. So have you always been like this? No. If anything, it all started when I first came across, across this freighter. Hmm. Eh. Doesn't matter. Alright. So. Hmm. Show me. Show me how to fight like a Mandalorian. As yes, by this time, Izuku, he may have missed a fair amount of 
school, so to speak. But he's not really hurting for it. Oh, even Inko is pretty much like, uh, you know, as long as he's safe from those nasty villains. But when he hears about Stain and Ida, he's pissed. Because since Izuku wasn't part of Sports Special, since he didn't have anything to do with no internship, he didn't really, you know, he wasn't in school, so he didn't know about staying, so to speak. He you know something about it, but he sure as hell didn't know that he was going to have a personal vendetta. What? At least nothing that would possibly put his life at risk. <laughs> uh, Stain, though hating Ida for his quest for vengeance, he decided to do something much more cruel than kill him. He crippled him too. Just like he did Tensei. So, yeah, <laughs> Ida, Ida can't walk anymore. So, yeah, you can just say, he was expelled from UA. Not just because of what he did, but because he literally can't be a hero anymore. There's no use in training him, so to speak. Though, yes, he could possibly go to one of the other classes that aren't hero related. What he did could have ended in his death, and why would they want to risk him coming after Stain again, or at least roping someone else into his family drama? Though it may be warranted. Uh, Why? Why would they risk any other heroes or students? So when Zuko hears about this, this is when he's like, the back to tanks. The what? Oh yeah, these things saved my hide a lot. Because of uh, harsher training conditions. Okay. What's back to? Oh, this healing solution. If anything, you just spend your time in the back to tank. You get healed up pretty damn good. So, let's pay Ingenium and his brother a visit, shall we? In which, he is surprised to see Zuku there. The only thing is... So your suspension is almost up. Yeah. If you're here to criticize me for my actions, go ahead and do it. I understand why I did was stupid, but I... <coughs> Ow! Eat up. I know why you did it, but it was still beyond stupid. I know. It's bad enough that I can't be a hero, but you done wasted the potential you had. I know. Not for what? I'm sorry. Okay, okay, enough with this. Oh my god, it's like a soap opera. But still. How would you guys like to walk again? What? You heard me. But the, the, the doctors... Ah, oh, forget what the doctor said. Do you want to or not? Sure, but how? No questions. And you will have to swear to secrecy. What? You heard me. I, uh... 
Seriously? Mm-hmm. Well. Uh, I, uh, I, uh... Clock is ticking. I can just leave. Uh, yes, please. If not for me, at least... Yeah. I have one question. Can you really heal us? Yes. Okay. But what if you can only heal one of us? What are you talking about? If. Just in case you can't heal both of us, heal my brother. Uh, Tensei, what are you talking about? Yeah, shut up. <sighs> as much as I want to be a hero, I want you to at least have a chance to succeed me. But what about your hero career? <sighs> You're more important. I remember looking in your face as soon as you realized what Stain did. It was pure horror. I would never want you to go through that. Pain. Any longer. So if you can be healed, I'd rather you get healed first. I can heal both of you. You're being over dramatic and it's starting to really get on my nerves. It's cute, but I have a limited window for this. Uh, right. So, well, uh, do you have some medicine or do I just come with me? Okay, that's all. That's all you have to do. Just very least be. Remember, keep this hush hush. Uh, uh, right. Then going through the back to take it takes a uh, quite a long time. Let's say two weeks for him to actually be able to move which yeah that's a lot of time in the battle tanks but still considering that soon they can walk and using these use facilities on the freighter to actually train and rehabilitate themselves everyone including the doctors they all have questions to how was this possible? Stain realizing this, so like, uh, he shouldn't be walking. Neither should his brother. How is that possible? As yes, Stain is not to be pissed. But one thing he does know is when it comes to the news conferences, he notices Izuku. While everyone else is amazed, asking questions, looking very shocked, Izuku seems more unimpressed, somewhat annoyed. As, yeah, the heroes look at him too, seeing that he must know something. So Stain, being suspicious as all hell, starts tailing Izuku. Being as stealthy as possible, hoping that okay. Let's see what you've been up to. Because when he did have his little meeting with the villains, he's Shigaraki. He does know about Izuku and that brutality and majesty of that sword of his. So, Izuku is definitely within Stain's crosshairs. 
But once he gets to the freighter, Satan is surprised. Like, I've never seen a building like that before. So, he decides to ambush Izuku. Izuku only just turn around and like, Hello, Stain. What? Izuku using the force to literally restrain him and choke him out to be unconscious. When he wakes up, he's actually in a holding cell. It's like, wait, where the hell? Ugh. You have two choices. What? You can forget what you saw. Or you could die. <laughs> pretty... Pretty, uh... Uh... Merciless for a hero, huh? Who says I'm a hero? Right now, I'm just someone who's protecting his property. So I can technically use whatever force I deem necessary. And right now, I'm feeling like it's very necessary that you die, Mr. Hero Killer. Yes, he's looking at Izuku's eyes, in which he sees no hint of bluffing. Izuku has no tails, like, yeah, I will kill you. I have the nerve to kill you, and I will sleep like a baby. As Stain, he's like, I can't just forget what I saw. Hell, I already know where he... <sighs> but Jazari right, could find me again. I... Hmm. So, forget about this, never come back, and I get to live. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I could also give you a third option. What? Ah, uh, yes. You could work with me. What? <sighs> you see, with what I have planned, I am going to require a certain set of skills, and for some reason, yours is you being able to kill heroes. I find it very fascinating, and really wonder how you do that. First, answer my question. Okay, I'll try. What? Did you heal Ingenium? And his little brother. Yes. How? Mm. I don't, don't feel like that's necessary for you to know. So what's your choice? Work for me, die, or leave and forget that this was even here. Fine, I'll work with you, but I'm still on the run, how, well, I have plenty of space, but one thing's for sure, you were going to have to disappear. What? One thing I have noticed about you, Stain, is that you do have supporters. Supporters of which I would very much like to recruit as well. Weren't you a part of the Hero Course? Oh, I still am. 
uh, due to my power I've uh, my attendance has been a bit lacking uh, right hmm so you're gonna work with me but for one thing's for certain you need to disappear you are gonna have to die what what Izuku pretty much admitting force lightning this is gonna hurt As yes, that is when the scene fades to black, and the next thing we know about Stain is he's a fried briquette. In fact, when they do try to move his body, it crumbles and flows around, becoming one with the dust. As real Stain is pretty much like, I can't believe you did that. Oh, well, believe me, it's very easy. What? You just, you killed someone. I've done it before. And besides, this was a villain. Luckily for us, he did have a similar build to you. Uh, right. Huh. Who is this kid? And Stain is then introduced to Mei Hatsume, and when it comes to Izuku going back to UA, everyone is looking at him suspiciously, still wondering, okay, what power does he really have? And when it comes to the whole league recruitment thing, Though, yes, Stain's followers really enjoy his little... Eh, he didn't really have no speech. But seeing that he was dead, things change. They were going to go to the whole villain route, but it's when they received some weird transmission that not only was staying alive he found someone who wanted him to be part of something greater and he actually invites everyone who shares in his vision of true heroes a perfect world so to speak he invites them he does in them coordinates only through select channels so that no heroes or the like would even dare think about coming forward and finding the freighter and though Ida does try to be quiet about how grateful he is to Izuku yeah. Everyone already knows is how friendly he has become compared to before. He is happy to hear that Stain is dead. <laughs> but when you look at Izuku, knowing that yeah, he probably did it, Izuku just looks at him blankly and like, just shakes his head no. What do you mean by no? Izuku just like, no. Uh, what does no mean? Is Zuku, through slight hints, lets Ian know what he did? Ian's gratefulness slowly turns into anger. Yes, yes, he bombers Izuku, and Izuku just trips him up. Don't start something you can't finish. 
be grateful that you can walk again and still be a hero. And very much be grateful that your brother was able to convince you way to take you back. Count your blessings. Just what are you? The future.